Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And this morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with a question to you. Who tells you the truth? And the reason why I'm bringing this thought is because of the story of David and Nathan. I mean, after David had um, kind of misconducted himself with uh, Bathsheba, and uh, he had gone one more step further by killing Uriah, her husband. And the Bible said that, I mean, Joab was there, the king's captain, he was there. There were other people too who were there who were privy to the acts of David or who were privy to it. So they were privy to it and then they, they knew that David had done something wrong with Bathsheba. And the Bible said, none of them told him that what you did, that is wrong. It was Nathan, the prophet, who walked into David's court and then said, O king, blah, 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 blah. And then David in anger, who did it? I'm going to then say, you are the man. Yes, David, uh, uh, Nathan surrounded it with a, with a nice palliative uh, approach, you know, a nice pacifist approach. Oh, he told a story. But once David got to the place of conviction, he told him, you are the man. You know, we need people in our lives who will look at us and tell us the truth as it is. Nathan looked at David eyeball to eyeball and said to him, yes, you are the king. I am the prophet. You have my life in your hands. With a snap of your fingers, I'll be gone. I'll be history. But I need to tell you the truth. You are the man. You did wrong. Sometimes leaders uh, can be very lonely people. Lonely because, you know, there are people who should tell them the truth, but they can't tell them the truth. And they hide behind nice platitudes and all those other things. David didn't need a nice platitude when Bathsheba, were, with the Bathsheba saga, he didn't need that. With the Bathsheba debacle, he didn't need that. He needed somebody to look at him and tell him the truth. Who is speaking to you, O leader? Who is speaking to you, O king? Or who is telling you the truth, O leader? And who is telling you the truth, O king? That's the question everybody must ask. We need people in our lives who can look at us and tell us the truth as it is without malice. And who will not be, will not impute malicious um, uh, uh, motives to them. They're just telling us how it is, as it is. If if, if all leaders, and especially people in positions of, of prominence and power, if you had people who could look at you and tell you the truth, sometimes some of the pain you would suffer in the, in the, in the hereafter, it will not be so. Sometimes the, the, the consequences of, of your, of your decision or your indecision or rash decision or lack of proper judgment, the consequences of it, will not only be born by just you alone, but will also be born by your children. And sometimes we need people who can stand before us and tell us the truth. And it's so sad that sometimes those people are rather excluded from our coterie of people, from our courtesans. We exclude them. We don't want them to come near because they have the ability to look at us in the face and tell us the truth. O oh, King, O oh, leader, O oh, big man, O oh, big woman, who tells you the truth? Well, it's not a question I can answer for you. I'm, I'm answering it to myself. So you need to go and answer it for yourself too. Who tells you the truth? See you later.